This one's going to be on Loa Kit. It is a web browser. Um, what they describe it here? Fast, small, web kit based web browser. Mainly is geared towards Vim users because uh, all these are mainly Vim hotkeys uh, that you can do. And uh, as far as is this a full web browser replacement? Probably not because you still need those, uh, you know, those big ass browsers to uh, go to certain sites. Uh, maybe like your banks or something like that uh, will require those. Okay. So what can you do in here? If you not use Vim, then uh, great. Let's get along here. You want to open a new tab. You hit T, and now at the bottom here, you can see it says uh, in the command mode here. Uh, it says open tab, and then you type in whatever the fuck you want to go to. Like say YouTube dot com and push enter and now you have another tab uh, let's open another one we're gonna go to uh, ddg dot gg here for DuckDuckGo now those are to open URLs if you want to open um, you know like to search something it's the same thing but you don't type in like a dot com or whatever just type in the keyword that you want so T and let's say we search for Linux um, and this one opens in uh, your default search engine, which is Google here. And if you know how to use Vim, uh, you have insert mode and normal mode. So in normal mode, if you hit escape, right, you can go move it up and down like this, right, up and down to scroll. Or you can hit, uh, what was that, capital G to go all the way to the bottom, and uh, GG to go all the way to the top. Or you can hit uh, control D to go half a page down. Or a control U, go half a page up. Pretty much is how you would navigate there. Um, other things. Oh, yeah, so we have a bunch of tabs open. We have, let me see here, uh, one, two, three, four, right? And uh, to go between them without using your mouse, it's just a GT to go to your next tab, next tab, next tab, next tab. To go backwards, you go G capital T, G capital T. That's pretty much how you do that. Now, if you want to jump into a, a certain tab, so you can see that there's numbers next to each tab. So all you gotta do is type in um, one and then GT, uh, you go to that one. Four GT, you know, two GT and so on and so forth. So we go to four GT here. So that's how you navigate between them. I personally would um, uh, recommend you binding a capital J and K. It's just much quicker, you know, to go between them capital J and K. Otherwise, you'd have to use this GT crap, which is kind of slow, in my opinion. Um, so that's what I recommend there. Now, we're still in, um, what was that, uh, uh, normal mode, just to navigate. And uh, they have this thing, instead of like using your mouse to click on the link or whatever, um, they have this thing called hinting mode, okay? And this is how you would follow links. So let me make this bigger here, whoops. Make this bigger. There we go. And to access follow mode, you just or hinting mode, I mean, uh, you just hit F, right? And now they have these numbers next to all the links that you can uh, go to normally with your mouse. But now you just type in the number. So let's say if I wanted to go to um, uh, the Wikipedia page for Linux, so I hit 40, then uh, it would take me to that page, right? If I want to go backwards, I hit uh, Shift and H, or forwards, Shift and L. Uh, so that's how you do that. Now, the one that we just used was uh, followed here, right, the, the lowercase f. Now, if you hit um, capital F, this one will actually open the link in a, in a new tab, but in a background. So if I hit uh, 40, like we did before, you see, it opens it, but in another tab. So the other tab is here, number 5. And uh, you know, you can do that. Now, let's say we open another one. Let's say, for example, what we get down here. Okay, this dish will watch it. Okay, so we do capital F and then 20, and it opens that too. So we'll switch to um, that one here. Now, if you want to delete the tab, you say D. That's pretty much it. D again for that other shit. If you want to undo it, U to undo. Uh, the first tab that we close and the other tab that we close right so that's how you would undo something uh, other things well if you hit F right and um, 
you know, if it, if a link pops up, then you just go to the link. If it's a field, let's say we have a field up here somewhere. Yeah, we have this one here. Let me go uh, smaller. Oops, that's not it. Small. Where the fuck, you go back to normal. Hold up. Oh, I get it now. Hold up. There we go. Uh, if there's a field like we have this one, let me um make this bigger again. Bigger a little bit. There, you see, like they have this search field here, right? Um, let's go back to our normal mode here. If you hit F, uh, if it's a field, you hit 23 there. And then you can actually type because it has like insert mode now. So you can see insert mode. And then you can type whatever you want. Otherwise, you can, um, what is that? After you hit escape, you can always hit I again. And you go back to insert mode. So if you know how to use the modal interface, then insert mode and normal mode to do that. Um, other things you can do. It's pretty much it, you know. Um, if you want to, instead of opening a new tab, you can hit O, and uh, this will open it uh, in the current page. So let's say we search for Arch Linux or something, and it will just use the same page. So as far as that goes for the hotkeys, that's all you really need to know for navigation and stuff like that. And other quirks that I don't like about this uh, at the moment, or uh, I guess maybe bugs too, is that... Um, let me zoom in on this thing again. All right. Um, if you hit the F here, they use the numbers. I personally don't like the numbers to follow the links because it's too far away from my fingers. Um, and that's the problem with most of these uh, Vim style web browsers is that they use uh, either one or the other. Okay, They don't let you have an option of picking one that you like. Uh, if you want to use the letters, then you know maybe give you an option to use the letters. If you want to use the numbers, give you an option to use the numbers. But usually they don't have, you know, a choice for that shit. So which is kind of fucking annoying uh, that they don't. Or maybe there is, but it's not really easy to set up yourself. So that's one issue I have with it. Another issue, I think this is a bug. I'm not sure, but let's go give you an example here. Okay, so let's go to GitHub here. All right, so if I hit F here, right, and I want to follow uh, number 50 here, I type in fucking 50. It's supposed to go, but it doesn't go. I mean, the program detects that, okay, there's a link on number 50 there, but it doesn't go. So, you, you know, it detects both of these, 50 and 71. It can't even tell the difference between the fucking numbers. So you would actually have to help it out by using tab to go between them. You see the green shit, which I, I don't really understand. And then you can actually hit enter, and then it goes to that link here. I'm not sure of that, but um, if you actually increase the fonts, it will work because I guess they can't tell the difference. I'm not sure, but increase the fonts, make it 51 there, and then it goes to it, which is kind of stupid, but I think that's a bug. I'm not sure. Uh, anything else? I think that's a, pretty much it for the program. Um, it does have extensions like uh, ad block and stuff like that, but the the help page for it is kind of shitty. I, I, I didn't even understand uh, what the hell they were trying to say. But if you, you read like multiple sources, you can get it up and running. It's not an issue though. As far as the browsing, it's not super fast. I mean, I don't think they're using the same WebKit as uh, the one that uh, Chromium or Google is using. So that's an issue too. Sometimes my CPU usage it just stays at 100. I'm not sure what the fucking problem that is there. But I have to close the browser and then uh, launch it again to go back to normal. Uh, as far as the RAM usage though, it's actually light. Uh, but I don't know why the CPU is just you know going to 100 or something like that. But that's it for the browser. If you like Vim style, then I can use this one. It's pretty decent. Not as super fast as uh, I would like it to be. But uh, the hotkeys to switch around, very good if you know, you know how to use Vim. That'll be it for this one.